Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to deal with digraphs and in particular uh, what a digraph of a transitive relation looks like. Okay. So like all the previous videos in this particular series uh, dealing with relations, uh, we know that a relation is simply a subset of a cross product. Uh, or more importantly what we say is that a relation is defined on a particular set. Or what we mean is once we have the set that the relation is defined upon, we build the cross product or the cross product of the set with itself which is a set of ordered pairs. And that a relation is simply a subset of that particular cross product and it could be any subset of that particular cross product. Now this video we're interested in uh, what a digraph of a transitive relation looks like uh, and we know that a relation is built on a particular set so the digraph must contain all of the elements of the set that the relation has been constructed on. So let's just construct the nodes that are in the graph for this particular set or for the digraph that will be represented or, or that's built on this particular set. So we have, there should be a node 2 there should be a node 4, there should be a node 7, and there should be a node 9. Okay. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to construct or we'd like to have a, a an idea of what a transitive relation represented in a digraph actually looks like. And what uh, the definition of a transitive relation uh, tells us is that whenever, whenever we have two pairs or two ordered pairs in the relation uh, let's say x y and let's say y z that are in the relation okay whenever we have two ordered pairs where the second the range value in the first ordered pair is the same as the domain value in the second ordered pair whenever that is true uh, we should have we should have the ordered pair from x to z which is x z in or okay really what this is saying is that whenever i can make a hop in my graph from a particular point to another node and then from that node to another node that i should be able to go directly from my first node to my last node okay so let's let's start off with this particular relation here okay uh, at this stage we have the nodes and actually there's no edges on this particular graph so actually this would represent the empty set and the empty set is a subset of of the cross product the empty set is a subset of all sets so actually by definition that's a relation so actually at this stage this is a relation it just doesn't have any ordered pairs uh, as elements so let's just create a a an ordered pair or let's create a a hop from node 2 to node 4 okay so at this particular stage this relation let's call it or one would contain the ordered pair 2 is taken to 4 okay that's brilliant so we have a we have a hop in our graph okay or we have a transition in our graph from 2 to 4 okay so we have one ordered pair and let's create another hop okay so we're going to go from 2 to 7 okay uh, so in this particular relation we have 2 is taken to 7 okay now if you think about it here we have we have sorry this relation this this hop here is actually 4 is taken to 7 yeah so you can actually see that this these two pairs look something like this the x value in the first pair is 2 the y value in the first pair is 4 the y value in the second pair is 4 and the z value is 7 so 2 is taken to 4 and 4 is taken to 7 okay now if this relation was transitive well then what we would expect to be able to find is we should be able to go directly we should be able to go directly from 2 into 7 okay so instead of taking a double journey or two hops from 2 to 4 and from 4 to 7 if it was transitive we should be able to go from 2 directly into 7 okay so we can make this relation transitive by putting in the edge taking us from 2 to 7 okay so what we know now is that this relation contains the ordered pair 2 7 and this relation is transitive
and we can continue to add in hops okay so for example I could go from let's say from uh, 7 to 9 okay we could go from 7 to 9 okay so let's consider all the possible double hops that we have now so we could go from 2 to 7 okay and then we could go from 7 to 9 if this relation was transitive we should be able to go directly from 2 into 9 okay uh, so we should be able to do that if it was transitive at this stage it's not because we haven't got that particular hop in there okay also you can probably see that we can go from 4 to 7 and then we can go from 7 to 9 if it was transitive we should be able to do the hop that goes around in this particular direction to 9 and in this case we can't just yet okay so what we could do is we could make a transitive by putting in those particular those particular hops so let's deal with the first one well we know from 2 to 4 4 to 7 we can go from 2 to 7 so that's a transitive uh, that's a transitive uh, uh, pairs there okay we can go from 2 to 7 and then we can go from 7 to 9 so to make a transitive we should be able to go from 2 to 9 okay so let's throw in 2 to 9 okay uh, we can also go from 4 to 7 and we can go from 7 to 9 so we should be able to go if it was transitive we should be able to go from 4 directly into 9 so let's put that particular edge in okay so we should be able to go from 4 directly into 9 okay so let's add in 4 9 okay now the question is is there any other hops that we can make okay now it's a little bit it's probably a little bit easier to see it on the graph uh, so we can go from 2 to 4 4 to 7 and we can go from 2 to 7 so that's transitive uh, we can go from 2 to 7 we can't go to 4 from there but we can go to 9 and we have the hop down from 2 to 9 so that's transitive uh, let's consider our next node okay. uh, well I suppose we could go also from 2 to 9 but there's nowhere else to go so there's no double hop in that direction okay so we've exhausted uh, all the double hops from node 2 so let's try node 4 and let's consider all the double hops that we could make from here so we can go from 4 to 7 and from 7 to 9 and you can see that we have the edge in directly from 4 to 9 so that's good that's transitive uh, we could go from 4 directly into 9 but there's no other hop out of 9 so that's not a candidate for transitivity so we're finished with node 4 what about node 7 well node 7 the only place we can go from node 7 in our first hop is to 9 and there's nowhere else to go to so there's no double hop there Okay, so there's no need to test that for transitivity uh, and node 9 there's no outgoing edge so in this case uh, there's no even single hop out of node 9 so there's no test needed for transitivity so in this particular instance here this particular relation would be defined to be to be transitive okay uh, I hope that short video on transitivity uh, helped uh, to demystify what a transitive relation looks like okay uh, but let's just keep in mind that once we pick two ordered pairs x y and y z where the range value in the first ordered pair is the same as the domain value in the second ordered pair whenever we can do that okay whenever we can find them two elements yeah or them two ordered pairs yeah if the relation is transitive we should be able to go directly from x into z so from x to z so in this case we can go from 2 to 4 and 4 to 7 if it's transitive i should be able to go directly from 2 to 7 which i can do okay uh, so guys i hope that was informative uh, this was jonathan lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the national college of ireland okay thank you